Okay, I've got some rusty old metal, a hammerhead, and an old plane iron. I'm going to de-rust these, hopefully the effortless way, with an antique battery charger, bucket of water, some soda crystals, and a scrap piece of metal. Take my charger, black, red. So the black wire goes to the actual thing that we're using. So I'll take this. This isn't particularly rusty. Um, I've actually sanded this down on the belt sander because where this had been hit over time, it had um, it burred over the the end quite quite badly and it was sharp and horrible and nasty um, so I've sanded that off but I want to get like the the rusting out of the pitting and there's some nasty pitting on this side which I just want to get rid of I, I did this before it was a lot worse than this and I left it and I didn't do anything with it so I don't think this should take too long on here I've also got this old hammer head which is a lot worse by using this electrolysis method method it will take away all the rusting, but it won't touch the, the good bare metal. So I'll just hammer out the old bit of handle from there. So the first thing I'm going to do, I've got these soda crystals that I got from the supermarket, and I'm just going to pour a load in. I think there is like a actual kind of ratio, so many teaspoons per litre, but I'm just going to chuck a load in. And this just helps the water conducts the electricity more efficiently, a bit faster, I believe. I'm going to take this bit of old wire and wrap it through here. And I can drop that in the water and wrap that round there. Then what I'm going to do is take my bit of scrap, put that in the water, the shiny metal side down. So I want the black on here and my red on here in the water and that will create a circuit between this side, this side, through the water and hopefully, I can feel that's quite slimy, which is good, hopefully when I plug this in and put my 12 volts through it, the water will start bubbling and I can just leave it to bubble away. Now if I've got this the right way round, this will get really, really rusty and all the rust will come off there and onto there. If I get it the wrong way around, I'll make the bit of metal more rusty and this less rusty. So I'll check it in a little while and make sure it's the right way around. So there's the plain iron. This has been washed and just lightly coated in oil. It's not perfect, it's not mirror finish, but it's all it needs. I need to put this on a grinder. You can probably see that's got a terrible edge to it. It's really badly chipped and burred. But we'll get that on the grinder and sort that end off. There's the hammer. That again has been washed and just given a wipe over with an oily rag to stop it from going rusty. So I'll make a handle for that at some point out of some English ash or something similar. Yeah, these are two others that I did. Again, they've been cleaned up in exactly the same way. I'd like to make a couple of wooden hand planes from these. If not, they'll quite happily go in number fours and number fives. But either way, I'll keep them. These have all been sharpened.